Oi, gente, estou aqui ao lado do Michael Chandler, que vai enfrentar o Charles Oliveira, Charles do Bronx, no dia 16 de novembro, na FC 309, em Nova York. I know that was not the fight that you were expecting, you were waiting for Conor McGregor for a while now, but how did you get Charles Oliveira instead? Charles has always been a guy on my radar, um, and it's not because I dislike him, it's not because I want to, you know, right the wrong of the time that he beat me for the title. Um, I have a ton of respect for Charles Oliveira. Charles Oliveira is a consummate professional. He is one of everybody's favorite fighters. You cannot, you cannot be a UFC fan or an MMA fan and not be a Charles Oliveira fan. With that being said, I want to go beat Charles Oliveira. That's everybody's job when they go fight somebody. Um, but I've got a ton of respect for him. The beautiful people of Brazil, it is in their DNA. So I'm excited to go fight another, um, a guy that I've lost to, a guy who has been a champion, a guy who beat me in the past. Um, and I'm, so when the fight got canceled, um, his name got thrown out and I said yes. And it was about four weeks ago that we started talking about it. And now just, you know, in the last week or so, we've signed about agreement, so. It's still a big fight for Brazil and I think for the rest of the UFC. We know that we are expecting Conor McGregor to come back at some point, but like, you guys fought in UFC 262, you lost, but it was a very competitive first round. How do you see this, this fight going? I'm a different guy than I, than I was back then. I needed to come into the UFC and fight a certain way, win over the fans, prove myself. Um, and now, after having a year and a half out of the sport, I've really matured as a man, matured as a, as a fighter, as an athlete, as a professional. And uh, I just need to be a little bit smarter out there. I know the mistakes that I made against Charles. I've studied every single fight that he has had since our fight. I studied all of his fights before. Um, I am very well studied on the, the, the performances of Charles Oliveira. And uh, I respect him. There are places where I know I can be successful. And I'm excited to go out there and get my hand raised. If you get the win against him, how do you see, you know, the, the future like a title shot? How do you see that? Yeah, I mean, there, there's... There's no doubt this is a clear number one contender fight. Charles wins, he goes and fights for the title. I win, I go and fight for the title. So I have a couple different options, obviously, because I believe I beat Charles Oliveira November 16th, and then I'm going to have the option to go fight Islam for the title next. Um, or finally, if Connor can get his house in order and finally string together a training camp and show up on a fight, I will fight Connor. Um, if not, if not one of those two, then Max Holloway for the BMF belt. So. No matter what, I've got a job to do November 16th and go out there and win. Invite Brazil to that fight, then you're talking to Brazil right now. Absolutely. No, all the people of Brazil, I, I love you guys. I respect you guys. Thank you so much for watching my fights. I know you're probably rooting for Charles Oliveira. It's okay. Root for your fellow countrymen. Charles Oliveira is a champion. I'm excited to compete against him. And uh, tune in, buy the pay-per-view November 16th, because it's going to be an absolute blast. Either way, may the best man win. God bless. See you at the top. Thank you so much. Of course. Thank you. Volto com vocês.